Hey, neighbors! This place looks pretty picked clean, but I, I've at least found a few more beds, so a little bit less we have to worry about. You find anything interesting? Um, there are guards. Ooh, we could use some guards. We could use some guards. Where you at? Um, in the desert. Okay. Doing the only thing that is reasonable to do in the desert. Uh, it's gonna be a very long way home like that. You realize? Uh, I mean, what are the options? Um. Wait, what? I mean. Centuries of imperialism are telling me that this is not the right thing to do, but uh... also you're leading him by his nose, so that's how I'm in. Well, okay, that that just makes it a little bit better. I don't have him on a leash; it's just a really long booger. <laughs> Come on, buddy, just gotta get you inside the border, and then you'll think this is home. Maybe. Yes, he saluted me. That's right. Salute me! <laughs> Respect my authority! What is up the world of the living? My name is LoXP. I'm here with Lyra, we're playing the top air mode, and you might be wondering why did we steal people? Oh, um... um... Cheaper than hiring them ourselves? Also faster than waiting for nomads to show up. Seriously, we were not getting any nomads who would be talented godsmen. We did and get- And these guys weren't using their gods anyway, so, you know. Exactly, they, they, they weren't doing anything over there. We did get a couple of good lumberjacks and stuff along the way, so uh, things have been developing pretty well off screen. Um, yep. Didn't add any new villager types you guys hadn't already seen yet, though. So, mm -hmm. oh. Nor did we really build a house for the new ones that we brought in. Hey! Okay. Um, we have a guard for the nomad finally. <laughs> Are you serious with this? Which yeah. one? Oh, uh, like the guy, Frift. Falcon Frift. Level 9. Holy crap, he's better than anybody we brought. Well, time to That's reassign. <laughs> I guess so. Um, yeah, quick rundown, recap, whatever it is, uh, retrospective for, uh, on what we did off camera. There are now three lumberjacks living in this house, so come choppy. And uh, they're living with their minor body, so that's fun. Then, this is the community storage area, nothing changed about it, except we for some reason decided to just rotate upside down the certificate sign. I keep missing and... the door. <laughs> <laughs> And we have three farmers now. One lives in here, in the non-finished house. Two live in this one, out here. And uh, yeah, the rest is history. The everything Again, we did not add any villagers that you have not seen us add. The only new guys are the godsmen. And frankly, we don't really know what to do with them anyway. I'll figure it out. But yeah, I think today's plan, uh, I'm tired of having to uh, sacrifice my meager food supply to feed these guys um, because they need a variety of food to keep them happy. So I think it's time we start in on a rancher and a butcher. Okay, so let me get this straight. The way the progression goes is we got farm farmers, so we get wheat. So we need someone to breed the animals, right? Correct. That's the rancher. That's the rancher. Then we need someone to kill the animals, so that's the butcher. Correct. And then we need someone to potentially cook the animals, and that's the cook. Exactly, yeah. So, well, then we'll get to the cook if we have the emeralds for it today, but uh, for right now, I feel like focusing on, on getting the animals bred up is probably a good place to start, because, man, the animal pens are expensive. Well, thankfully, thankfully, butchers do that kind of automatically. So that's why, like, if you guys were wondering why aren't we, why are we bringing cows into the town but not actually penning them, that's because butchers can do that and uh, they're not actual people, so we can bear them being annoyed. This is us being annoyed. All right, so we've got, yeah, the rancher and chef. I saw a rancher. Da, 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 da. Oh, they switched spots. Okay. 
Um, front of the line, Butcher, congratulations. Okay. That... Got our girls. We do. Now we need to get them somewhere to live. Can we actually afford that? Uh, we can definitely afford that, and we should be able to afford um, one animal pen. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to afford a place for the butcher to actually be slaughtering today, but, um, you know, if nothing else, the merchant will be back tomorrow, and I'm sure we've got plenty of stuff around by now. Yeah. All right. Also, I'm voting this god guy. I, I want to see if he despawns. Uh, should I pick up a four or a six house? Probably just a four. Um, let's get a four, I think. Okay. All right, four house purchased, and I can... maybe a six, maybe oh. a six house like in the middle of the town will will be more convenient and like space efficient. Too late, I already bought it. Oh well. All right, and yeah, I have. Honestly, we'll we'll struggle to find even two roommates for them. Okay. Um, I can afford the chicken one and none of the others. So, do you want to do a chicken one or wait till we get a little bit more for one, uh, like the cow pen or something? No, let's get the chicken one. It's uh, it's a start. Okay. So my question is, do we want to do my idea of going ahead and converting this little area into a chicken coop? Or do we want to do it elsewhere? Hmm. Well, let, let's think. Let's just think like logistically. Um, what we want is we have the butcher who we <laughs> want to live right by the community storage area because that's where people will be taking the food from, right? So you put the boat back down and they picked up some villagers again. Um, yeah, I trapped uh, the level 9 god. Okay, alright. But yeah. Can we, uh, that? Can we not? Um, I don't know if they'll st survive the night there, but we'll see. Or like, I don't know if they're just going to despawn or not, but we'll see. They're probably going to despawn. Uh, but yeah, so we want the butcher to be close to the storage area. So put it like here, there. Mm, to think about it, we could make this into a chicken coop, then right by it we would place the butchery, right by it we would place the butcher's house, and on the opposite side of the street from it we would have the community storage area, where the butcher and the rancher would take their items and put their items back into it. Sounds like a plan to me. Alright, let's uh, get it going. So, the chicken coop is in place? Yep. You even got some chickens. I am baby chickening it up. She theoretically should also go fetch chickens, so like if I completely fail at getting any babies to come out here. <laughs> <laughs> but she's currently looking around for some to go ahead and haul back to there. And uh, she'll and start- I so her. want to see her dragging the chicken saddle along. <laughs> Simply because, well, it's such a frustrating process, I can't wait to see somebody else struggle with it. <laughs> Yeah, we can stalk her for a minute while she does that, and then, uh... Yeah, except she went exactly the other way around. <laughs> I'm guessing she realized that there are no ch Yeah, there's some that way. Hopefully she'll pathfinder those soon. Mm -hmm. And then she'll also wind up using the seeds to... Oh yeah, they still bug out on, uh... <laughs> Is that just going to bug you too much? Yeah, I would love to laugh my butt off of them not understanding what a trapdoor is. But frankly, I have like better stuff to do. Yeah, that's fair. There's like a god tower to be built, a butchery, two out of the houses that we have are basically the roof. Wow. Also, there are villagers stuck on the, on the door of one of those not houses. Yeah, they can't tell um, which way is. There we go, solved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I thought the other one was bad about being just a roof. Woof. Yeah. Um. Remember how last couple of videos I was like, nope, done. Just forever. Well, unfortunately, yo, yo guys, it's real estate now. Unfortunately, building is the one thing that they cannot do for us, so we are going to have to do it. Or live in the in the world of perpetual ugliness. Are you really going to allow yourself to do that? Probably yes, but I mean, won't make it for an entertaining YouTube series. It. <laughs> 
All right, so we're trying to figure out why it was that the miner was just wandering around upstairs. Um, and I came down here, and sure enough, the mine shaft token is no longer glowified. So that means that it is time to move it. Um, I had moved it away from this one because this is getting really long. So yeah, literally all you have to do is dig a, a too deep spot. Um, I had not been going in that direction because that's the closest to the, the border. We've got probably only about 40 blocks in that direction, but we've got like ages in both of these directions. Uh huh. So if we just go, well, and actually all three of the other ones, but especially that mm. direction. So if we do, say, just one right there, I just want to slap it above that. And I'll niceify this a little bit, but. Would that... this tunnel lead into a lava lake? Uh, no, it's uh, not going to lead into a lava lake there. If it does, potentially, then they... there's a cave. Yeah. There's a flooded cave. Okay. Yeah, any fluid past the block that they are about to knock out, they will not keep going on. Oh, this one missed some iron, though. Oh, because there's something behind it that they can't. Uh... This is going to be fun. Okay. I took out the uh, water. Okay. So. The cave seems lit up. There shouldn't be any problem for her. Okay. So, uh, I say as a zombie drops down from a... Yep, uh, definitely no problem for her. Yeah. Absolutely no problem. Lady, come down here and mine. We definitely value your life. Oh, she's and mining. hungry for, you know, emeralds. Yeah, Brina the third is mining again, so... Hooray! Exploitation. <laughs> That's... We are a Brina powered will village. That's I love the name it. of the game. Uh, yeah! You are the heroes this. Oh my god, he's doing the super attack. <laughs> Man, that was amazing! He's on fire and he does not give a crap. He's like, I salute you, my sir. And he just bugs off. <laughs> out, 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 Go out, sleep. Just... Yep. Just gonna slip off being on fire, no big deal. Just doing the job. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Yeah, these guys, super loyal. Best people on the entire village. Ah, I love them. Yeah, they're, they're, well, I mean, we rescued them from their, their village out in the middle of nowhere that was uh, completely dead, so <laughs> they better be grateful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so here's the thing, here's the thing. One thing that lowers the villagers morale, the happiness of yeah, the happy uh basically more than maybe even anything else except for like maybe like watching a fellow villager die is being dragged around by his nose on a leash. Yeah. So basically as soon as they arrived, I made sure that they are really happy and one thing that actually apparently hires not highs, heightens, increases the happiness of a villager is getting new stuff. So I've given them swords. That yep. was once even. Yep, I, I'd put in some iron swords, I'd come back and he's got them diamond swords. They're all fancy hey. and shiny. You gave them iron armor, so you, you're the one who started spoiling them. <laughs> also, another thing that makes them like not super happy, but fairly happy is uh, whenever they salute you. Well, not whenever, but sometimes they salute you and they have a random chance of getting more happy just because they saw you. It's like, I just imagine their diary, like, Dear diary, today, guarded village, Hilda Husk. So Sloy, best day ever. <laughs> <laughs> Rinse and repeat. Yep. Well, their life... Their lives are really repetitive. Repetitive. They don't ever get to guard anything because we don't really have zombies attacking the village. Nope. Although I am working on at least having a spot to put up a guard post at. Um, I've I've uh, got a tower that I've started over here. The idea is I'm going to put one of the guard post tokens down at the bottom of it, um, so that they'll mm -hmm. prioritize it. I figure for the fun of it, once I've got like a watchtower top uh, spot up top. Once uh, once we have the extra emeralds to spend, we could put another watchtower token up there. They can't shoot or anything, but it might be cute to have them, like, for roleplay purposes, be 
peeking out from up top, and well, then... yeah, and also they only sleep during the day, so they don't need to shoot or anything. Exactly. And then um, right now, though, I have a top floor here, which is going to get some beds, and it's going to be our where our guards live. Oh, wait a second. Uh, oh, it needs this a, is a problem. It, it needs a st it needs um a door. I just realized it. Yeah. It needs a door. But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. You can make multi-story builds, but you can't really make multi-story builds in yeah. this mod. The way it goes is as uh, you can have like a house the way we had it, like the basement is the town hall and the, on top of it is the room for sleeping, but you will notice that the ladder between them is a completely separate structure. Technically speaking, so it's like outside, but not really, but actually outside. Mm -hmm. And it can be inside of another room itself. So you can create a corridor between the two buildings. Yeah. But it still has to be outside of the two buildings themselves. Yeah. So I really am confused about how you want to figure out the entire guard tower slash uh, sleeping quarters. Well, what, it, what it's going to need is it's going to need a, a barrier with a door slapped on it up here somewhere. So that just oh. means that I can just move move where the staircase to the very top is a little bit and um, have you know half or three quarters of the upper floor here be sectioned off. I had to yeah, completely that space sense. that part out. But wasn't there like a problem where if inside of the house of sorts like one building or another there's a ladder they will instantly attempt to go up it or something like that no um the bug you're thinking of there was a problem where um if uh if the guys in the town hall uh, the went up, went up even, exactly if they went up even a half step uh the game would stop realizing they were there and would delete them and spawn new ones but okay. that's been fixed. I don't actually know why that had to be fixed, because all of them are the same. Uh, because they were disappearing while people were talking to them, and it was freaking them ah. out. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, uh, I'm actually doing something very similar with the Butcher project that we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And thinking about it, yeah, we lost our chance. Oh no, there's the tradesman. Hi. Hello, Mr. Mr. We don't today? need them, no, not really. I actually meant that we need to buy the butchery uh, sign itself. Gotcha. So, check this out. This is actually an even more convoluted situation mm -hmm. than the one you're trying to get. Because I figured that it's about time we build something more complex. Okay. This down here is going to be the butchery, because really the butcher doesn't need much space. They can just, you know, knock some cows out in a little tiny room. Uh, with blood all over and, uh, you know, creepy sounds everywhere. Okay. Then out here, is there like a kitchen? Yes. That you can have? Yeah. There. Yeah. Down here is what where I would love to put a kitchen. Okay. Which is where the chef would reside and like constantly cook different stuff. Okay. And up here, I would actually place the tavern build. Oh. That way... The chef, the butcher, and the tavern are all in the same spot. And maybe, maybe, if we're just brave enough, on the other side of the build, I would even make sleeping quarters for everybody involved with the tavern. So the butcher, the chef, and, of course, the bard who sings in the tavern. That way, all of their workspaces, all of, all of their sleeping spaces, and the, sh the place they actually work for are all the same build, and maybe there's some merit in actually moving our, uh, what you call it, our storage area somewhere around here too. Simply because at this point it's getting way too crammed in there. So putting like a cellar underneath here for that stuff. Oh yeah, absolutely. That actually makes perfect sense. Yeah, it does. Um, seeing how, because of the miners, it makes sense to kind of go lower with our storage com uh, community thing. Yeah, we could have uh, that, and we could even have a uh, back door that the uh, uh, miners could go ahead and get uh, into the to the cellar from down below. Yeah, 
So yeah, Project Talon. We're getting advanced up in this one. Now, I, I will say it's a good idea to put the the sleeping quarters attached to it because we're going to need a lot more floor space in this for a tavern because we got to remember we got to fit everyone in the whole village in here. Oh. Oh dear. I just uh, you, you feel it's about time we did a head count or something? <laughs> yeah, probably. So I'm gonna go shopping. Alright, what are we getting? Uh, we are getting the butcher, definitely. Okay, we already have a butcher, so yeah, just the butcher token is what we need. Yeah, yeah just the butcher house, Okay. not, not the butcher himself. Alright. Okay, and then I fought, obviously, a god tower, which, by the way, they're incredibly cheap. That is because you can have several god posts, and the gods will patrol between them. Yeah. So you are actually, like, intended to have them patrol, run around, but we're not doing that because... Eh. Yeah. And I don't know, should we grab... Should we grab a kitchen while we're at it? Uh, if we have the emeralds, let's grab it so that we've got... We can get that going, because I see our miner trudging along real sad, and I know... Having food that they have cooked themselves will make them happier. Yeah. I'm just speaking currently because between the merchant stall and the kitchen. And really, the kitchen we kind of have already going. Well, not going, but, you know, built. But, you know, we have a little basement that will be the kitchen, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. We don't have a cook to put in it, but, you know. Yeah, and the the merchant stall is brand, brand new. Like, literally just got into the game about eight hours ago. So, <laughs> we, uh, we, I, I, people are saying that there's still a lot of bugs in it, so we might, uh, might want to hold off on it. Also, f catching the, you know, merchant, the tra the wandering trader across the village is a mini game in itself. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Now, once he starts getting really picky about what he's trading, so that, you know, it's actually a, a problem trying to catch him again, then maybe we uh -huh. should, but for right now... Absolutely. For right now, okay. yeah, let's... Uh, okay, thinking. Butcher. What does the butcher need in the, in the, in the house of theirs? Um, I, the only item that it needs, if I remember right, is a crafting table if they, we want them to be able to craft leather armor. Hmm. I mean, we could place it and then just disable it in her... Uh, Whatchamacallit? Yeah, in the checklist, AI. the AI checklist, yeah. Because Which... really, the gods won't wear leather armor and neither... It sells per pretty good, though, so what we might want to do is letter... Uh, well, I mean, it doesn't matter much because we don't even have a cow pen at the moment. Okay, yeah, good point. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> But yeah, we we uh, we could always just let her sell or get enough to sell them until they're not worth much anymore, and then disable it. Okay. Use that to I raise himself up. We need two more to place a god post and a kitchen. Gotcha. Well. Okay. So I wanna just ask you before we do this: Do will the gods just take a beeline for this place as soon as we put we put it into the item frame? Only one way to find out. Oh! Oh, the requirements for it are apparently, like, incredibly cheap. Yeah. What, what's the point of it? Uh, they will come prioritize patrolling this area. And, no, uh, I mean, like, for, for the build to be legit. Oh. Uh, the requirements for it are nothing. We could just put a block in the middle of a field and throw a thing on it. They, uh... Okay, did, did you say you had another one of... Another letter item frame? You want you want to just go put up a... <laughs> I, I just don't want to, them to be hanging out in one spot, spot the entire time. Okay, yeah, I can make another item frame. Yep, just... I mean, it's, it's two emeralds, it's affordable. I mean... It's only uh, two stacks of wood. Where do we want to put the other one at? I don't know. So we're we're just gonna be bots about it. Um, let's go. Let's go make them god fix gravestone. Oh, let's do it. Also, they <laughs> they they're killing another one over here. But yeah, let's yeah. let's have them guard fix gravestone. Why not? It's a historical memorial thing. Oh, you actually decorated it. Oh no. <laughs> 
actually, uh, Thomas came and visited uh, and decided that he would decorate yeah, the Yeah, guys, uh, the villager in, from the first episode, back was his face. Um, he died and I decided to bury what's left of him. <laughs> yeah, Peck Bright Brightwater. Yes, that seriously was his name. Um, <laughs> we're way too easily amused. But yeah, no this 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 is a guard. This is a literal guard yep. post. <laughs> but honestly, it actually almost makes sense because there's a bit of a dark spot between that po post and this post. And look, look at Charles here. Yeah, you, you, you go uh, got that. It's uh, important stuff. Basically, the thing is that unless yep, we make them walk in some dark areas where something might actually spawn, they'll be entirely out of practice, and we actually mildly want them to level up. And I'm pretty sure they don't just level up by doing nothing. Oh, oh, she, she has an axe. Nice. Oh, this woman is... Yep. Someone's gonna die. I like how she angrily passes what's her face, uh, the rancher, Cassandra. <laughs> hey, Cassie! How's it roosting? What is wrong with you, woman? <laughs> oh! Why did you... She just murdered the crap out of that door! <laughs> yeah. Are you okay? Okay, the chicken is following her. Okay, not anymore. I like that it's still making the... <laughs> I like that she slammed the door and then you just hear chewing sounds. <laughs> okay, so the, the one weird thing here is that I think because these are right next door to each other, she may technically be able to kill them through the wall. Which is incredibly efficient of her, but also <laughs> she might be a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> oh well I I would like to take one more moment to appreciate the beautiful artwork on the the knife. <laughs> Don't be a boss. No no the, the severe de like how it's got so much more detail than like the other tokens, because the other tokens are all Yeah, it breaks the, the it breaks the crap out of the immersion. <laughs> Let's assume that it's like placeholder art. I know. No, I, I actually think it's interesting and I honestly might Just like be it. grateful it doesn't have like uh, one of those photo picture sites watermark on it. <laughs> I actually was more thinking it might be interesting for the for more of the tokens to be like that. Hmm. I don't know. I honestly prefer Minecraft textures that are like uh in the pixel art ratio. That's fair. That might be just my taste. Yeah, she is indeed. Yeah, the, the... killing them through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the the poor rancher is trying to bring in the chickens fast enough to replenish. <laughs> well, I guess uh, time to well time time to start saving up for the chef. Oh, absolutely. This we can't have them having salmonella. No, it's just. Not gone not gone cut it. Haha, <laughs> fans. <laughs> Ready. Uh, let's roll. All right. And because we have only one nomad today, uh Naomi, congratulations. Despite your aspirations in enchantment, you are a chef now. It's like magic, but with food. It's more like chemistry but with food. That that's the talk of somebody who doesn't Both cook of... very well. <laughs> Both of those actually are kind of creepy and alarming. I don't think this village is going to be fed well. <laughs> yeah. Well, well we, uh, now, did we get the furnaces and stuff down here? We did. Okay. Yeah, That's I cool. did. Meaning uh, that uh, we got ourselves potentially very happy villagers. We did. Simply because they will be fed with different food and uh, they really like variety. Uh, now, I am turning off her desire to smelt charcoal, <laughs> because I would rather she stick with uh, the coal that we have. Yeah, and before we forget, we gotta probably turn off the butcher's uh, ability to make uh, leather armor. Okay. Seriously, with this. 
Oh, where, where'd she even go? Also, Blir Brianna Lirstorm just decided to climb the second story of this house for no reason. Oh, that's and who's go. back there doing that. Okay. Yeah. I have no idea what prompted her to do that, but I'm removing one of the two letters. <laughs> yep. Uh, Shortest path. I'm, I'm just happy that she actually went down on a ladder and didn't, like, consider jumping off or something. Yeah. Oh, the passing <laughs> AI has been pretty good, pretty good on this, actually, so... Yeah, so far. Yep. Anyway, yeah. we got ourselves the Butcher, the the Chef, and two guard... <laughs> uh, no, the guard tower and the literal guard post, let's not forget. Yep, at and, post. And now we've got some um, of, uh, good food coming in, so that tomorrow, Brina the Third will be uh, in a much better mood, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, here's hoping. And uh, what we will do next time is... We'll crack down on the Project Tavern, which is going to be just absolutely amazing once it's done. Yeah. It's probably going to look like garbage until then. So, till then, guys, thank you everybody so much for watching. We actually have been reading the comments for the first video, finally. Mm -hmm. So, uh, all of your feedback, all of that kind of stuff is finally sinking in. Wow, did we do a lot of things wrong according to you guys, but whatever. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Uh, keep them coming, everybody. We appreciate your feedback. To be continued. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.